Welcome back to Good Morning Football. It's time to announce the Way to Play recipient. And it's headed back to L.A. The honor goes to a player who exemplified proper technique in week four. The winner receives a personal letter for commissioner as well as a $2,500 donation and the player's name to a high school or youth program of his choice. The winner is Brown Safety, Jermaine Whitehead. How about that? Jermaine Whitehead, watch this play right here. We're going to break this down. Here he is up here. Safety position. Now, I want you to pay attention to Mark Andrews running this deep, skinny post, and he's going to stay on top of it. What do you do at this point? You can either hit him or you can grab him. You can sometimes do a little bit of both. What he decides to do is go up and over the top, high point the ball like a wide receiver would. See, most DBs, because they're not wide receivers, their first instinct is to hit or to grab, pull, and then make a play on the ball. No, 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 not Jermaine. He goes up top, climbs that ladder, and then he makes a play on the ball without having to make a bad play on the guy trying to catch the ball. And that right there is the way to play. Listen, the way to play isn't all about big hits or proper technique when tackling somebody. There's also plays within the game that nobody gets hit and an individual can make a play on the ball that can change the outcome of the game just like Jermaine Whitehead did. So shout out to him. Congrats to Jermaine Whitehead. The award is going to go to him. That's $2,500 donation and that will be made in his name to a youth program or high school of his choice. And we'll find out the way to play recipient for next week once we get to it. All right, let's go to L.A. where my guy Will Selva is waiting in the newsroom. That's right. What's going on there, Nate? And well done with your breakdown, as always, my friend. So we started in Chicago. I guess it would be more London. Quarterback Mitchell Trubisky is traveling with the Bears to London today, but there's nothing more to read into his travel plans. Trubisky expected to be a spectator on Sunday as backup Chase Daniel would make his fifth career start against the Raiders. Teammate Khalil Mack has made plenty of starts in his young career, but perhaps none is more, let's just say, motivating than facing the team that traded him to Chicago for the first time. While head coach John Gruden knows they'll have to keep an eye on number 52 at all times, he's not the only weapon the silver and black will be keying on from that defensive unit. Well, the problem is you're not just scheming for him. You know, Floyd is, is uh, not a bag of rocks. He guy's a great player. They have two of the best inside players in the league, and they have a great blitz scheme. Uh, so it's easier said than done. Let's put two guys on Mac. Uh, they blitz enough where you can't get help. You know, that's why we, we brought in Trent Brown. That's why we drafted Colt Miller in the first round. You know, those guys are going to have some tough snaps against a great player. You know, Floyd is not a bag of rocks. Our guy, P. Schrags, first showed us this yesterday during his Cool Plays Bro segment. Patrick Mahomes look back at the ref on his scramble and run during Sunday's win over the Lions. It's just another Mahomes play that makes us shake our heads in disbelief. Here's PM15 explaining the reason for his incredible play. I looked back to see if there was a penalty and uh, I, I saw that I had the room to run and I could probably get the first down, but I didn't want to run like 50 yards if I was going to get called back and have to run another play. So I kind of just looked back to see if there was a penalty, realized there wasn't one, so I just kind of took off. A no-look pass looks back at the referee. His field awareness is absolutely ridiculous. Forget about the arm strength for a second. Just that field awareness, unbelievable, Shriggs. Way to go on your part to bring the story to light yesterday. Oh, that was just because Twitter went nuts when it happened, Will. But thanks, and congrats to Mahomes. He says he's never done that before in all his years of playing football and just felt like, yeah, it was a thing to do. Didn't want to waste 50 yards of running. Nobody's ever done it before. No one's ever done it. Next level. Next level stuff. Thanks, Will. Patrick.